don't speak Japanese, I don't recommend it. Good morning, everyone. It is a very rainy day yet again here in Tokyo. Uh, we actually had a pretty good week weather-wise. It's just today. But I am going to Shinjuku to go to the Detective Conan pop-up cafe. We made a reservation for it like two weeks ago. So we have to go. You have to reserve it in advance. They don't let you walk in. So that's what we're gonna go do. Maybe do a little shopping. I don't know. I don't really... <laughs> I shouldn't go shopping. But um, it's in like a really good mall. We'll see. I have my Poato Conan shirt on. And let's get going! Alright, so I just got back from Shinjuku. I think Shinjuku is probably the most convenient place if you want to do like a lot of clothes shopping because you don't really have to leave the station to get to most of the malls there, but it is very crowded, very confusing, <laughs> and of course it's a bit dirty, but honestly all like city-ish areas in Tokyo I think are dirty for Japanese standards. So yeah, we went to the Konan Cafe. Actually, I went last year too, but to a different location. I think the theming this year was a lot better, at least to me personally, because it was pink. And I mean, you know me, pink. <laughs> so I really liked it. I thought it was very cute. However, um, the store was basically sold out of almost everything, even though the cafe's open, I think, for like a few more weeks. And the food is like meh, but it's never like great. Honestly, going to like these themed cafes, it's really great if you're a fan, but if you don't speak Japanese, it would be a nightmare. I don't recommend it unless you go with someone who has been before because it's, it's just a lot. Like, and this isn't just for the Konan cafe. It's for most of like the anime or themed cafes I've been to. Like you have to make a reservation and then you show up, you wait in a line outside the store and you actually order before you go in. So they give you a menu and like a sheet and you like check off what you're gonna order. I think it's to reduce like time guesser in the seat itself, you know, so they can keep the turnover. But yeah, you have to do that. And then they take you to the seat and they usually have like a goods corner, which you saw, they actually give you like a little ticket 
They ask if you want to buy goods first, though, so you have to answer that. And then they give you like a ticket, and then the hardest thing is they announce it over the loudspeaker, the numbers. But it's like really hard to hear it, you know, because you're in like a restaurant and it's kind of loud. And yeah, it's it's just a challenge. <laughs> yeah, it was nice because I like I like I like cold on. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, we did that. And then since it was in the Milord, that's that's the name of the mall. The mall's name is <laughs> Milord. <laughs> I don't know who named it that. Why is it named that? I don't know. But it's actually a really good mall, in my opinion. And there's a lot of really good stores if you're in your 30s or under for women. I definitely recommend it. And also the Lumine Est there is also great. And really the Lumine's, you know, Shin Shinjuku is just, it's really good to go shopping. Yeah, we went shopping and I got some things from my favorite store, <laughs> uh, which is Ekasopo. It's like, probably like, not half of the closet, but like, Maybe like half of the things like I like, like I really like, you know, in there are from this brand, which I recommend if you are also um, a bit larger than standard Japanese sizes. Um, yeah, I don't really fit in pants. Even at that store, I don't because um, I have a... But shirts and dresses are okay. So yeah, I guess I already kind of showed you, but I think I'll put them on again. And then I'm going to go shower because it was really humid out today. So this is the shirt. I wouldn't wear it with these pants, but I was too lazy to change. It has these like buttons here. It kind of looks like kind of, it kind of is elegant, you know, I think. I don't know, I think, I think so. I'm trying to get more like less t-shirty things and more like kind of nicer tops in my wardrobe because most of it's t-shirts, but I really need like some more nicest shirts. So this is good. Oh, by the way, from the Conan Cafe, I did get this. It was one of the few things they had left and I love him. It's like a clear file. By the way, people are always asking me about prices. They had a sale going on, so everything was 20% off. And I think after the sale, I think this shirt was about $25. And then this dress was about 32 ish dollars, I guess. So it's like this kind of collar situation. We got some buttons and the waistband is like this uh, rubber band kind of thing, which is why I like this store. A lot of the waistbands are like that. Usually I don't actually go for this kind of color situation or the even the pattern. It's a bit different from what I usually go for. But my friend picked it up and I tried it on and I like it. It's a lot more bright and summery than a lot of what I own. I tend to go for like pastels, which I like. But yeah, I think summer calls for some of this. And the dress is really comfortable. Okay, I need a shower because uh, I feel sweaty. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to shower and then I need to finish editing tonight's video, which is gonna go up later tonight. <laughs> and I didn't finish the rough cut yet. Why do I hate myself? <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. And then once I finish that, I'd like to hop on to Genshin. So yeah, let's get going. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Well, it's already 1 p.m. because I was doing laundry all morning, so I was waiting for it to finish. And I was gonna stay home, but I decided I should go out today because it's really nice weather, and I think I'm gonna be staying home or like close to home for the rest of the week. So let's go out today. It's Monday. So I'm gonna go to Ikebukuro today, I guess, and I want to stop by H&M, get some work done at a cafe, and then maybe walk around a little bit and look at stuff. I don't know. We'll see what time it is. I, I want to come back home before rush hour. <laughs> okay, so let's get going. It's very hot. Um, it is It's 27 degrees in my room. So I am sweating just standing here. Yeah, my room doesn't really get very good like airflow through it. I have the window and door open. Let's go. Hopefully there will be air conditioning. And yeah, I'm wearing the dress I just bought. <laughs>
I just got back from Ikebukuro. I didn't actually buy anything. <laughs> um, I just got this milk tea and then what I ate at the cafe. I'm trying not to buy much, even though I really, really wanted the Genshin stuff. I already, as you see, I already have a lot of Genshin stuff and I already had a lot of the stuff they had on display. So I'm just gonna wait till the next time. They didn't even have Ayato because he's new. So next time. But yeah, I'm trying not to buy anything till after I move. Because it's just, I don't know, I have so much stuff. I don't know how it happens. I just, I love collecting. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even buy dinner because um, I have chicken that's going to go bad today if I don't use it. I'm going to make dinner tonight and then I'm just going to do a little bit of work. Oh, by the way, uh, the cafe I went to earlier, Cafe In Square, I guess, it was like above the Zara in Ikebukuro. We have to say like the office elevator kind of thing because... Most of the building is meeting rooms, I guess, but the cafe was really, really nice. If you are working alone and you want quiet. And the coffee was pretty cheap for Tokyo. I got the ice latte, I think was about less than $4 or about $4. Yeah, I'll definitely go back there again. It was great. A little hard to find. If you're not looking for it, you miss it. But if you're looking for a place to do some work, I recommend that. All right, I am here with my Caesar salad wrap. I don't know, I'll probably food in my tooth. Wait, I'll just talk like this. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end it here today. For the rest of the night, I'm just gonna be doing boring things and playing games. And then tomorrow it's back to work. Yay. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more content about my life here in Japan in the future. And I'll see you guys back here again next week as always. Bye.